think the biggest transformation in the next five years will be in the near distance space. Many people don't know that, but 60% of all global trips done are in the zero to eight kilometer space, which is of course uh, very uh, a big a big source of urban auto traffic congestion. So I think a lot of this auto congestion could be relieved by offering alternative solutions like e-bikes, e-scooters and also cargo bikes. I really think cities have to become a bit more creative and perhaps even bolder um, to develop solutions that incentivize for clean micromobility solutions like e-bikes and e-scooters. I think Madrid is doing a wonderful job. They City Council just uh, banned all high emission cars for the inner part of the city. I don't think there is one right solution, but there are different approaches that seem to, that seem to work out for cities. Banning high emission cars in the inner city is one of them. I can think of another three ideas that I feel are very appealing. The first one is a policy that was launched in New York City and also in Stockholm and, and, and works out very well, is that uh, this policies, policy incentivizes trucks to drive into cities for deliveries only outside of peak hours. And then another idea, and I think it's very crucial for cities to think about this, is uh, about parking solution for the dockless bike and, and, and uh, scooter shares, because citizens are scared, and rightfully so, of this clutter on the streets, um, which we've all seen from pictures of Chinese cities. And then the third idea that I personally feel is very appealing uh, is that cities get inspiration from older cities. So the older cities usually have narrow streets that are actually much more uh, ideal for human beings and, and alternative modes of transport. Um, and before the cars were there, the cities were, the streets were actually there for interaction, for bikes, for, for cars and, and people. And the idea of moving back to this model, especially for the inner part of the cities, is very appealing to me.